So let's talk home decor because a lot of you have reached out to me asking me for tips or advice or help in decorating your own homes. I am going to be doing a series of videos giving you tours of the different rooms in our house. And you'll see some pretty consistent theme throughout all these various different rooms. I'm a strong believer in using a neutral color palette as a foundation and building off of that with your decor. So what I mean by that is you'll see that a lot of my furniture pieces are neutral colors and then I use pops of color throughout my house to add character to my rooms. Balance is another component that you'll see me use in my design style. I like to balance out the way a room is staged or set up so that it doesn't look heavily loaded to one side or the other. So everything will look even and symmetrical and pleasing to the eye. So today I'm gonna take you on a tour through our master retreat, which is our master bedroom, walk-in closet, and master bathroom. You'll notice a lot of the design elements that I was talking about earlier on in this video incorporated throughout all three of those rooms. I will also in the description link, the description section of this video share some of our design pieces, uh, home, home and wall decor that I've selected for use in these rooms and the links to where you can find them. I just think your master suite should be your sanctuary. It's where you go to unwind at the end of a long day. It's where you go to connect with your significant other. It should have a romantic feeling to it. It should be relaxing somewhere where you can find peace and solace. And I really love the way our master suite came together. So I hope that you'll like it too. If you love the content in this video, please subscribe to my channel. I have more videos coming that will share more home decor tips and design tips for you that you can incorporate in your own spaces. I really love the light and airy feel of our bedroom. I feel like all the colors work really well together with the color of our paint and our comforter and the furniture. All of the wall art that we picked add nice little pops of color without being too overwhelming and taking away from the relaxing vibe of the room. We're very blessed to have a lot of natural light coming in here, but we did have to invest in some blackout curtains from Amazon. The color is really nice and not overbearing, um, but does block out the light in the morning for us. And the gray curtains tie into the gray on the, the throw pillow on the bed. Here's our dresser. I dressed it up with some black metal knobs from Hobby Lobby. And here we are going into our walk-in closet. As you can see, we don't have a very large closet. So we did utilize the storage on the shelving on top. And then I enable myself to find things better by sorting by color. So as you can see, I sort everything by color, store all my bags and jewelry and knickknacks on the top shelf. And a little messy, but all my shoes go down below on shoe racks. That really has optimized the space in our closet and has worked really well for us. There's my husband's shoes. 
and his ties. One day we'll have a larger closet, but for now we're working with what we got. And here we go, are going into the master bathroom. Again, a little small on the smaller side. So I opted to have a barn door, which did not require to be swung into the bathroom and enabled me to install those floating shelves and optimize the use of our space much better. We renovated this bathroom from head to toe. And one of the things we really wanted was a double vanity, but we had a space constraint. So we bought a 48 inch single vanity and mounted a trough sink over the single bowl and just installed an extra faucet. And it's worked really well for us. near the floating shelves I'm talking about. If we had had a regular swinging door, that space would have been wasted. appreciate your support and for following along on my journey and um, hope you got some good ideas out of these videos. See you soon.